How do you find the right real estate agent when it comes to buying a home? And what questions should you ask them when you're going through the interview process? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna dive into in today's video. Because not only is a real estate agent imperative to the home buying process, working with the right real estate agent also ensures that you're getting the right property at the best price with the best terms. Now, for most people, buying a home is the largest financial transaction that they'll ever make in their life, which means you don't want to get it wrong when you're going through that process. And having an agent on your side to help guide you, not only to finding the right home, but also in helping you negotiate the best terms, the best price, while also helping you ensure that you're making the right decision is really the only way to go. Now, there are some people out there that believe real estate agents like myself don't do anything at all. All we do is take a buyer to an open house or take a buyer to a property and show them. They make an offer, we write some paperwork, and it gets accepted. And quite frankly, that couldn't be further from the truth. In fact, the majority of what I do as a real estate agent actually doesn't even start until we get your offer under contract. A lot of people believe, hey, once my offer is accepted, then it's a done deal. No, that's just the first negotiation in the process. And sometimes that can be the most difficult negotiation in the process. And that's why you wanna ensure that you have an agent on your side that can guide you through that process in writing that offer. Because in Orange County right now, it is still a very, very competitive market. And if you just have an agent writing an offer without doing the necessary things in order to make your offer competitive, chances are you're not even gonna get your foot in the door. But that's really what I wanna talk about in today's video is helping you as a potential home buyer figure out how to make that decision not only on which realtor you want to work with but also give you the confidence to know that you've made the right choice now with that I'd like to take a minute and ask a favor if you find any value in my videos at all do me a favor and hit that thumbs up and if you'd like to stay updated on content like this and everything Orange County real estate related do me a favor and hit that subscribe button now, many of you out there have probably seen my other YouTube channel where I have over 100,000 subscribers where I talk about general real estate market conditions. Well, this video is a little bit different. In fact, this channel is different because it's really geared towards those that are looking to buy and sell in Orange County, not all over the nation. And with that, I want to talk specifically about what you should be thinking about as a potential buyer when it comes to choosing the real estate agent that you're going to have represent you. Now, I realize every single person person watching this video probably knows a real estate agent. In fact, the last numbers that I saw was that there were over 20,000 licensed real estate agents in Orange County alone, which means you probably know an agent. It's maybe your mom or your dad or a cousin, somebody that just got their license. Maybe somebody that's had a license for 20 years doesn't even practice real estate, but they continue to keep their license active. But with that, that doesn't mean choosing one of those people is the right choice. Just because your cousin just just got their real estate license doesn't mean that's the person that you should go with. In fact, in many cases, that would be the wrong answer, especially in a market like we're in right now, where you not only have the competitiveness of low inventory and high buyer demand, but you have the volatility of interest rates. On top of that, you have changes happening with buyer compensation and how all of that's going to fit into this new model, if you will. In addition to that, there's additional disclosures and things that have to go along with your offer because of these changes changes and you just want to make sure you're getting it right. Now I want to take a minute here and be very, very candid with you as a real estate agent for over 20 years here in Orange County, the barrier for entry to get a real estate license is really, really low, which means almost anybody can get a real estate license, but that doesn't mean they're a professional. That doesn't mean they're the right choice for you. You need to make sure you're choosing a real estate agent that not only keeps their license active, but is constantly doing continuing education to become better as a real estate agent on negotiating, on working with buyers, on working with sellers, and really doing more than just the requirements because the requirements are bare minimum. And you really wanna make sure you have an agent that not only that understands the real estate state side of things, but really understands the trends in the market, the macro trends, as well as the micro trends, because both of those not only affect house prices and what the market's doing, but they're also going to impact how you should write your offer in order to get it accepted. And that's really where I want to start in today's video. You need to find a real estate agent that not only has local market knowledge, but really understands the trends that are happening in that market. Now understand, when I say local market trends, I'm talking about Orange County. There are agents that work in Orange County that will represent you 
in Riverside County, in San Bernardino County, in LA County, when in all reality, they shouldn't be doing that at all. I'm an agent here in Orange County. If you're looking to buy in LA County, Riverside, or San Bernardino, I'm not the best fit for you. And the reason for that is because those markets are completely different. Unless you're actively selling real estate in these markets all the time, chances are you don't know them well enough to be able to help guide a buyer through that process. And I'm not just talking about the overall trend because the trends are similar, but I'm more talking about different neighborhoods, the school districts, everything about that community that that agent should know in order to help you make the right decision. Because real estate agents can travel to other counties and represent you, they do that when in all reality, they shouldn't be doing that. They should really refer you to somebody local that can guide you through that process. So when it comes to buying a home in Orange County, just make sure you have an agent that not only understands Orange County as a whole, but understands these different markets in Orange County. They've sold property there. They can show you that they've sold property there where they've represented a buyer or a seller and that they have a proven track record in those markets so that they have the expertise to be able to guide you through the process. The last thing you want is an agent representing you that doesn't truly understand that community because in all honesty, they could be giving you advice that isn't 100% accurate because they don't truly know what's going on there. So when it comes to finding a real estate agent, just understand you should be finding someone that is local to your market. In fact, I had a conversation with a seller yesterday who reached out to me here in Huntington Beach and they said, hey Jeb, I just want you to know the lady that helped me buy this house, she's in Palos Verdes, which is about 45 minutes from here in Huntington Beach. And he said, we may actually consider her to sell our house. What do you think about that? And I said, I have no business selling real estate in Palos Verdes, just like she probably has no business selling real estate here. Unless she's a native to the area, she completely understands the market, which in some cases agents do. But for the most part, that's not the case. Agents are just driving wherever buyers want to go saying, hey, I'll represent you just because they're looking to get paid. When in all reality, they should be focused more on their local market. And when it comes to your local market, make sure that your agent understands the overall trends. Ask them what they think is happening in the market, why it's happening, why your price is doing what they're doing, where do you see things going. They should not only, as I mentioned, understand the housing aspect of it, they should also understand what's affecting the overall economy as well as what's impacting current sellers and buyers in the housing market because ultimately that can affect you as a potential home buyer. So not only do you want a professional real estate agent that stays up to date on their education that is, that is constantly trying to become a better agent, but somebody that's local to the market, understands real estate where you are, but also understands the trends that are affecting inventory, as well as the trends that are affecting supply, demand, as well as what's affecting house prices. Now, some things I'm not gonna mention in this video is you want somebody that's ethical. You want somebody that's professional. I did use the word professional earlier, but you do want these things in an agent, along with somebody that has integrity. These are things that you're always looking for. These are non-negotiables. So we're not gonna mention them in today's video. We're talking about the things that you're looking for on top of that, which for me, the next one really comes down to negotiation skills. You don't want an agent that's just going to say yes to every single property you want to see or yes to every single question that you have. And the reason I say that because I often have clients asking me about specific properties and you know what I think about certain things. And I'll say I'm not always gung-ho on saying, hey, yeah, this is a great property for you. Oftentimes, there's something with the property, maybe it backs to a street, or in some cases has railroad tracks, or there's something impacting the potential value of that home, and I want you to understand that from a real estate agent side. I'm often trying to get buyers to think about resale value of their property, even though they may plan to never sell that home, or if they plan to sell it, it's gonna be 10, 15 years down the road. We're still talking about these things that may impact their value, and at the end of the day, not always saying yes to every single property they choose. Now, at the end of the day, the buyer is right. So if the buyer wants to make an offer on something, the buyer likes the property and wants to see it, by all means. But it's my job as an agent to potentially point out things that they might not see because buyers buy emotionally and they justify logically, which means buying a home is very emotional. They're thinking about where their kid's birthday is going to be, which parties they're gonna have, you know, whether or not they're gonna have Christmas at their house or Thanksgiving. They're thinking about all the entertaining things and all of that stuff, all the emotional things. But oftentimes they're not looking at the details of a property. It's my job as an agent, assuming the buyer's okay with it to point out some of these things. I'm always looking at the things that aren't really obvious when showing a client a home, just so they truly understand what they're getting into when they're going through that process. Now, there's a lot of agents out there that don't want to upset buyers, don't want to flip the apple cart. Is, is that a saying? 
Anyway, they don't want to upset anyone through the process and they're unwilling to really give their opinion. Now, this is gonna take me into the next one is that you've gotta find an agent that you have compatibility with. Now, I realize I don't appeal to everyone. I'm very direct, I'm very straightforward, but ultimately, I'm a professional trying to get you the best price at the best terms on a property. So if you're looking for an agent to guide you through that process and not necessarily the agent that's gonna be warm and fuzzy and hug you every single time they see you, then I'm probably the best agent for you. And with that said, if you want my assistance here in Orange County, I would love the opportunity to interview you. You can interview me and we can see if we're a good fit. In fact, my contact information is in the description below. Now I'm being somewhat funny when I'm talking about being an empathetic realtor, but the reality is you gotta find somebody that you're compatible with and someone you feel comfortable with because sometimes it can take weeks, months, in some cases, years to find the right home. So if you're constantly talking to this person, you're constantly seeing this person at different properties, then you wanna make sure that it's someone that you vibe with because ultimately it's going to be a really weird dynamic if you don't. And the last thing I really wanna to touch on today's video is somebody that has negotiation skills. This is probably the most important piece of the puzzle. This is what I would personally look for in my agent because you need somebody that can, again, get you the best price at the best terms and someone who isn't afraid to upset the apple cart. I said it again, I, I don't know if that's a saying, but we're gonna move forward here. You gotta have somebody that's willing to go back when a seller responds. You can tell your buyer, you potentially, whoever's watching this video, hey, this is what I would recommend. And you go back. You can't be afraid to upset the other side when it comes to negotiation. You're both trying to get the best deal for yourself. You're both trying to get the best price for each, you know, for, for yourself and the best terms for yourself. So sometimes it requires some going back and forth. And if your agent isn't willing to have that conversation, isn't willing to do that, then that's probably not the agent that you want to have represent you. I can give you scenario after scenario of deals that we've negotiated where I've negotiated 50, 60, $70,000 in repairs on properties that looked really, really nice from the outside, but we found things and there were different things that came up in the process that needed to be renegotiated. Now, if your agent was afraid to ask those, those deals would have never happened to start with. So just make sure you're finding that agent that's not only responsive, that can negotiate, and lastly, that can communicate. You need somebody that can communicate what's going on, isn't afraid to tell you exactly what's happening, even if it impacts you as a potential buyer. Communication is absolutely vital when it comes to buying a home. There's a lot of timelines, a lot of going back and forth. There's a lot of I's that need to be dotted, T's that need to be crossed, and you need somebody that can communicate not only to you, but to your lender, to the selling agent, to everybody that's going on because that's what makes a smooth transaction. It doesn't help you if you're able to get under contract if you're not actually able to close on that deal because your agent isn't communicating. I can't tell you how often as an agent, I'm calling the other agent, trying to get a response, trying to find out what's going on and there's simply no response on the other side because the agent isn't calling me back, isn't doing what they're supposed to do. So just make sure when you're going through this process, you're not only looking for these characteristics, but you're asking questions in the process. You know, there's that saying out there, the quality, the answers that you get are based on the quality of the questions that you ask. So just make sure you're asking tough questions. Ask the things that are on your mind and make sure the agent is able to address them in a way that you can understand. And the last thing I wanna say here is if you need an agent local to Orange County, I would love to be that person to guide you through the process. My contact information is in the description below. Now, if you've decided on your agent, you're already going with somebody, you're ready, you're out there making offers, they're not getting accepted, and you're wondering what can I do in order to help my offer stand out, do me a favor and check out this video here.